Coming up today on Verbatim, we take you behind the scenes of a poetry slam. And watch all that goes into the ROTC's STIX training program. Plus, we take a look at the world of USC in 60 seconds. Verbatim starts right now. Welcome to another episode of Verbatim. I'm Michael Guerin. And I'm Christina Dre. We're taking you behind the stories you find in the Volant. A new issue is on newsstands today and on volantonline.com. Christina is the photo editor for the Volant, and we were just recently having a discussion about inclusive excellence, which is a big topic here at USD. And we thought we'd take a minute to talk about the subject. Um, and I guess we both kind of have similar opinions about it, how we're talking about how inclusive excellence is a big mission at this university, but the students seem to not really be buying into it. Is that correct? Well, I would definitely agree to that because I was at the diversity symposium last Thursday mm -hmm. and I went to the feminism talk by Sarah Lampert mm -hmm. and there was a pretty decent crowd, but otherwise I didn't see too many people around and a lot of it was faculty. Mm -hmm. So I think the university is attempting to put the discussion out there and give students a chance to talk, but I don't think they're taking it. Yeah, and it seems like from what I've heard is some students aren't really engaged when they're at that, and a lot of them are there just because they're assigned to do it for class. And I think it's an interesting part about South Dakota. It's not that there's, I would say, racism or anything. I think it's just there's a lack of diversity in the state, and that's to no one's fault in this state. It's just something that's not really here, so people don't have those experiences of diversity. That's, that's definitely true, because I grew up in South Dakota, a really mm -hmm. small town, uh -huh. and so the only diversity that I was kind of attuned to, I guess you could say, is uh -huh. that I was um, near a lot of Native Americans yeah. because there is a reservation nearby, so I was used to that culture, but uh -huh. I didn't get experience in any. knowing any other cultures. And that's a culture that a lot of people across the country don't get to experience, that people in South Dakota do, is Native Americans. I was just at Wachipi and I thought that was an excellent experience that I wish more students attended as well. Um, but you went and studied abroad and you got to some more interest in learning about different cultures. Yeah, definitely, because I went to study abroad in Argentina for six weeks, mm -hmm. and because of that, I plan on going abroad back to South America somewhere to teach English, just to, I don't know, kind of give more to that kind of diversity discussion and yeah. try and, you know, kind of come together more. Very cool. Well, that's a little bit of our take on inclusive excellence at USD. The Vermilion Literary Project's Literary Fest slams at USD. Poetry, that is. The Volant's Megan Card has a beat on the story. My daily tires were in the same flannel every day since we fell in love. To love, to lost, to slam. The Vermilion Literary Project hosted its first combined literary festival and the Sorcerer's Apprentice Creative Writing Camp in Vermilion, March 27th and 28th. The Poetry Slam was by far the most emotional part of the two-day affair. Evan Weezer of Brandon Valley High School won the performance with the highest score and earned himself a bedazzled belt. And it's a bit tongue in cheek. Nobody takes it all that seriously. I mean, for one thing, we've got, we usually have kind of cheesy prizes, like hand sanitizer. So, you know, you can't take it too seriously. The Literary Fest also offered a number of workshops for aspiring writers. Natanya Poli, an assistant professor in the English department, shares tips on how to deal with rejection when trying to get material published. I know people that have been writing for, you know, 40, 50 years and still having, like, getting rejections and it, and it hurts every time and you just have to be able to say, like, okay, well, this isn't really a personal thing. This is about a piece of writing that maybe doesn't fit amongst a bigger group of writing. For the Volant, I'm Megan Card. And here's freshman Xavier Soli. Watch her first slam attempt with great regard. The fire, and I am the charcoal that keeps burning long after we have gone. But I have risen with the time of winds. The charcoal is my heart, and I am a girl who likes to wear the same flag. Coming up after the break, one of our Volant reporters trained in a military exercise. His experience is next. We'll be back in just 15 seconds. The 
the Valance Malachi Peterson acted as an embedded journalist in the ROTC's STIX training this weekend. Here's his vlog. On Saturday, March 28th, I participate in the University of South Dakota Reserve Officers Training Corps Spring STX or Simulated Training Exercise as an embedded journalist. During the course of a day, I followed a platoon of more than 30 cadets through the woods as they attempted to complete three different missions. The first mission saw the troops setting up an ambush for the Southern Entropian People's Army Militants, which were played by senior cadets and South Dakota National Guardsmen. For the next mission, the cadets traveled to a village to talk to its inhabitants about the whereabouts of a kidnapped reporter, aka me. For the last mission, the cadets tried to rescue me from the clutches of a sapa only to be ambushed from a tree line. Within the first 30 seconds of the engagement, I was killed in the crossfire. By the end of the mission, there were four dead Americans, not including me, and three dead sapa, with one sapa being taken prisoner. All in all, it was a very interesting day. For the Volant, I'm Malachi Peterson. Thanks, Malachi. You can watch his full vlog at volantonline.com. Each week, the Volant covers the stories that affect the students at USD. We decided to take a look at the big stories of the week and show you the world of USD in just 60 seconds. Beta Theta Pi and Alpha Phi hosted their third annual Easter egg hunt on Sunday. More than 300 eggs were hidden in Prentice Park. The annual We Are United Diversity Symposium was held last week, bringing together people of all races, genders, and sexualities to focus on diversity and inclusiveness, both locally and nationally. To realize that the world you live in, you yourself construct, and hopefully we can change it for a more equal place. The 18th annual Building Bridges Conference hosted native hip-hop artist Mike Jordan as its keynote speaker. His session was titled Dream Warriors. And that's the whole idea behind uh, Dream Warriors and it's to empower the youth to, to set a goal and to actually fight for that dream. I'm living proof of not letting anything stop me from where I'm living today. The men's and women's basketball team played against some pine-sized opponents during a pep rally in the Dakota Dome for students at Jolly Elementary School in Vermilion. Google Maps launched a new feature to play Pac-Man wherever you want. Eat Pack dots anywhere from the White House, Disney World, or even right here in Vermilion. Here's what's happening this week at USD. On Thursday, you can enjoy new music from local composers and musicians. This free concert is happening Thursday night at 8 in the Warren M. Lee Center for the Fine Arts Colton Recital Hall. After your long Easter weekend, enjoy an Indian taco sale on Tuesday evening at 5 in the Native American Cultural Center. Coming up to Nana Coyote News, they'll have a recap from the Wachipi. And tune in to see some punches thrown at Teak Fight Night. Plus, Coyote News was at pre-med day. Learn about how future physicians prepare to continue their education. Tune in tonight live at 5 and again at 6 on cable channel 21. Did you know that we're on every day? Be sure to tune in daily for what's trending online, the day's weather, and a look at the events ahead. Thanks for joining us this week on Verbatim. Be sure to tweet us with the hashtag USD Verbatim. We'll see you next week.